Hey everybody, it's Joel Irway with dailyfeexamprep.com and today we are going to talk about finding the distance of a, of a line using slope and given points. So uh, this is going to be filed under the Mathematics and Advanced Engineering Mathematics section and with regards to analytic geometry and trigonometry. Now this is going to be following the general FE exam specification if you are following. So without further ado, let's get to the question. So the question today is what is the length of a line with a slope, oh looks like I spelled that wrong, that's supposed to be with a slope of 2 over 4 from point two three to the y-axis. Okay, so just to give you a reference of where this is located in the reference manual, this is going to be located, the equation of a straight line is located on page, located on page 18 of the supplied reference handbook. And the straight line is given right here. Okay, so ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, and the standard form of the equation is y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so we will be using that in this problem. So let's go ahead and get to solving this. So, so let's go ahead and get to solving this. So let's go ahead and write down our givens. Well, we know that the uh, equation of a line is equal to y is equal to mx plus b, okay? So we have given points of x is equal to two and y is equal to three. So let's go ahead and put that into our equation. So y is equal to three. So we have three is equal to the slope of two over four times x, point x, which we know is two plus b. So if you remember, b is our y-intercept and that's what we are going to be solving for right now. Okay, so two times two is four, divided by four, that is going to, that is going to cancel out and we are going to have one there. Excuse me, it doesn't cancel out, but it, it equates to one. Um, and we still have three over here. So three is equal to one plus b and solving for b, we know that that is equal to two. Okay, so our b value is two. So now let's find the general form equation of the line. So we've got y is equal to our slope, our slope is not going to change, so two over four x plus two, which is the value that we just solved for. So our general form equation is y is equal to two fourths x plus two. Okay, so now we wanna find the length of the line of the slope from point two, three to the y-axis. Okay, so we know that once it hits the y-axis, our value for x is going to be zero. So that point is going to be zero and our y-intercept, which is two. So this is our new point, okay? So zero, two is where it's going to cross at the y-axis. And we want, why don't we go ahead and draw this real quick so we can actually show this to you. So if we draw our x and y-axis, so x is over here, y-axis, let's go ahead and make some points here. And we, and we plot out our two points. So our first point is two, three. So we will make that point right here. That is gonna be two, three. And our second point where it's going to cross at the y-axis is going to be zero, two. So we're not moving anywhere on the, on the x-axis because it's going to cross the y-axis. So zero, two, which is right here, okay? And so then we just connect that line. All right, now let's go ahead and label that so you know what I'm looking at, what you're looking at. So zero, two is our second point. So we just wanna find the distance between here. Okay, so that's what it really looks like. So now that you know what we're doing, <clears throat> let's go ahead and solve for this using the distance formula. Now the distance between two points is shown as d is equal to y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. And again, this is given right below um, our general form of the equation on page 18 of the NCEES supplied reference handbook. So now that we know what formula is to use and we have our two points, let's go ahead and solve for it. So d is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. So plug in our two points. So y2 is two minus three 
squared plus x2 minus x1, which we know is 0 minus 2 squared all over this or all under the square root. Okay, so remember, our second point is going to be that 0, 2 point where it crosses the y-axis. So it's 0, 2. So that's why we have x2 here, y2 here, because it's crossing the y-axis at points 0, 2. Now, x1 and y1 are these points that we have right here. Okay, so just make sure that you put them in the right in the right at the right spots. So once we go ahead and solve for this, we have the square root of 2 minus 3 squared is equal to minus 1 squared, which is 1 plus 0 minus 2 squared is minus 2 squared, which equals 4. So we have the answer is the square root of 5. So this is um, a little bit cumbersome of a, uh, of, a, uh, of a process to solve, but by no means is it um, out of the realms of what they can ask for on the FE exam. So if you like this or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and share this if you found this helpful at all with your engineering friends. So this has been Joel Irway with dailyfeexamprep.com, and I'll see you in the next video.